Hello everyone, it is Talent and Gospel here. Okay, and in today's tutorial, I want to teach you about uh, deployment again because uh, it's very much important that you have some uh, good rounded understanding about you know uh, deployment you know on Web3. So today we're going to deploy in. Um, a React application, not just a React application, a DAP, a React DAP. We want to deploy it to Vastel, okay? And the back end of the uh, of the React application is going to be sitting on a uh, on Mumbai test network because that is a smart contract, right? So, and this video that you're about to see is part of a course that we. Uh, that I've developed so far is a, an introduction to blockchain course, a course that is a full stack blockchain development for beginners. Okay, so I've actually developed it, and you know, that project was what we deployed to the test network. I hope you go check it out. And so, you're going to see how all of those things uh, they feature in, in this particular uh, video. So, stay tuned and make sure you smash that like and subscribe button hit the notification bell for more you know web3 stuff like this see you in the video hey guys uh we just launched a new course on the platform that you need to really check out it's called full stack you know beginner dev blockchain development it will really help you to uh get into the uh, idea and the core principle the basics of what blockchain building a blockchain application and you need to go check it out right now it's live and it's available for you to grab a copy from all right with that let's jump into the tutorial So ladies and gentlemen, it's time that we deploy the smart contract on the web. This has been on our local host so far and it's been working so good. So it's time to, you know, shift it up, you know, and actually put it on the web so that we can actually visit it on the internet. So that's what we're trying to achieve right now. What I would say is you should go to Infuria and uh, create a project, a new API key, make sure it's web tree. All right, you give it a name and then you create it. Once it is created, let's put another one here. This is going to be called Mumbai. Okay, Mumbai. All right, and you want to give it, uh, this is the Mumbai right here, the, the testnet location, the RPC, where we'll be deploying our smart contract to. Now, the next thing you want to do is to come here we basically need to switch to that Polygon Mumbai testnet, which is this uh, network. All right, so, and I'm going to come here and switch to this account one. This account one has some ETAs on it. Fantastic. So one more thing that we need to bring in, we need to say this will be the deployer. Okay, the deployer, I'm going to create a, basically a new account for this for this deployer, all right? So I'm gonna come here, create a new account, okay? Let's call it a deployer, okay? And create a new account here. This is a new account. I will right click here, click on account details. And not this account, okay? Not this account details, rather this, I want to export private key, I will say, Okay, open up my, okay, this is my private key for this specific account, okay? This is just for this tutorial sake. I'm not using it for anything. So I'll come here and make sure that I paste that private key here. These are the information. That these two information we will need for deployment. This other one, our application is gonna need it on, you know, to use it online. All right, so one more thing that we need to do for this account here, let's come to, uh, Mumbai file set, Mumbai file set, and let's come to this polygon technology. Okay, in this space, this is how you look for free eaters online. Okay, if you don't know that, you know, so I need some. Um, so, this is my wallet address. I'm gonna what paste my wallet address here and click on what submit click on confirm okay 
So request is in progress and request submitted. So within a couple of minutes or so, I should receive my ETAS here on my account. Then we can use it to do perform things like such as deployment and so on. If, if you check your, uh, your listing, you can see that two Matic has been credited into this uh, account 0.2 Matic. So now let's come back here. Okay. Open this um, add that config script. I need it to, we're going to duplicate this, this particular uh, uh, network. We're going to call this one Mumbai. All right. And the URL is going to become, because we're using .env, we can have access to this thing called process, okay, .env, dot, and then we can specify this Mumbai, you know, this uh, this particular Aru PC URL. This is where we're going to be deploying our smart contract. Great. And then we want to say account, all right? And then you can specify in an array the same process, okay, dot env dot the deployer, all right, which we can basically just copy here. This is private key, that is what you'll be using, all right. So with this now, we will set up another network that we can deploy the smart contract to. So now we'll do run yarn, okay, yarn had at run scripts. And we're actually using the deployer script. I mean, uh, de uh, deploy dot js, and we say dash dash network. Okay, to be what Mumbai. All right. So this we use the Mumbai test network to deploy this smart contract online. So let's click on that and watch. You know, uh, for it to be deployed to this test network. Okay, the deployment has been successful. You can see this is the all the address of this. Uh, contract who we'll come to Mumbai, okay, Polygon scan, enter that smart contract address. You can see that a deployment just happened right now. This account has nothing. So this is cool. And now we can basically end this uh, Hadad server because we're not going to be using it anymore for now. We can then easily run yarn start, okay, and let's watch. So Yan is started, and here we go. Uh, this is our platform. Okay, we want to connect with this particular account. This is the account, the deployer's account. So we want to connect with this account. There is no organization. There is literally nothing on this platform. What we can do is to um, let's let's create an organization okay so we can create an organization let's call it dap mentors okay and uh, we can say um can let's do this and create organization so uh this process is going to be authorized and we click confirm so this could take some time but it's going to be created all right, so that val to validate that this is now being recorded on the chain. If you come here, refresh, use, you know, even though it's not being recorded, you can see that there's a certain transaction that has just been confirmed, you know, and our app, you can see that one organization has been added. Okay, so if we refresh this, you can see that another transaction took place on that chain just 25 seconds ago. This is good. So that is great, okay, for deploying our smart contract to the web. The next thing we want to do, we want to be able to put the front end part, which is this React part that is still staying on the local host, we want to ship it to, to uh, Vassel. I have a Vassel account. If you don't have a Vassel account, you can create it yourself. But if you can also use Firebase, you can use Firebase to do this. All right. So I'm going to, um, if I can create this, if I can do this, make sure you log into Vassel. And once you're logged in, you'll be redirected to the dashboard. And that is where I am right now. Okay. So log in or create an account with Vassel and you'll be here. Or you can use Firebase as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I will need to add a new project. Okay. 
and in adding a new project, you know, Vassel watches for all your Git repositories, okay? And I've not published this application to GitHub. So what I'm going to do here is to end this and I will initialize a new GitHub repository, okay? And I will call this um, DAP, DAP, DAP P build, all right? DAP P course build, all right? And then click on commit, publish branch, well, I'm going to call it DAP P, it should be a private repository, all right? Because it's the course, so I'm uploading all those files and assets to the web, so it's not successful there. So now when we come to this place, here you can see that DAP is just available, all right? So now I'm going to just import this thing here. Let's import this, and this is a Create React app, and this is the project name. So come to environment variable, just the way it is. I'm just going to leave it that way, copy that, okay? Come here, enter what the environment variable, and click what deploy. So it's deploying this time. All right, so this is this is taking place. Deployment is ongoing. At least this time around, we can be sure that this you know has been accepted. All right, so once it is done, it's we can then proceed. So as of this point, deployment has been successfully executed, and here we have our application online and we can launch it by using this, clicking on that screen, and it's gonna take us to where our app is online. You can see this, our app is live right now, and you can see this is what, DAP, okay, Vassel. So we need to connect before we can see any information that this account had here. So I'm gonna connect here. So you can see that I have one organization already inside here. I could come to uh, inside of this organization here and come here, create a new payroll. I call this DAP Mentors Executives, okay? Uh, we, we, each one of them gets 0.05, cut is just 5% and the description, copy and paste here yeah, and then click on create payroll. and then confirm okay so this is a live chain though uh is a test net and everything is on the internet now fantastic one payroll has been created you can see what is going on here okay i could decide to come in here view it so at this point let's actually create or add a worker so let's add a worker we'll use this worker is going to be uh, one of these account so i'm going to copy this account okay let's call the name uh darlington gospel that's my name and i'm adding myself to this okay and and then we have let's use another one let's create another account uh for another employee Let's see this employee. Let's copy the account details. They're going to be the one. Let's call this Abraham Covenant. Add it here. And then let's create these workers. Okay, confirm. So this will be sent to the chain and the workers will be added, confirmed, and then populated into the view here. This is the beauty of all the things that we've been doing. You know, is we're seeing it live now being you know acted upon on a live blockchain network. This is absolutely fantastic and I like it. So you can see how slow the blockchain is, and eventually this is added. Okay, so that is one of the reasons why we had been uh, making sure that we used a, a promise-based system to go about this. Okay, so let's check it out. You can see that we have organization, one payroll, two workers, and so on and so forth. So that is what it is like to build a 
a, an application for the blockchain from scratch to finish.